Okay, so first view in the box, <laughs> you see a big seat. <laughs> That's a big seat. Yeah, for two people. Okay, we got a wheel, fender, and sprockets. And it looks like this sprocket's stainless steel. Cool. Mm, nice. nice color. So this is the brand new AdMotor Sultan M66X electric scooter which can seat two people and drive you anywhere you want to go. I must say, out of the box, assembly was easy. It came almost fully pre-built with the whole back end reassembled at the factory. The only thing we had to do was assemble the front tire, the handlebars, the front fender, and the headlight. I made sure all the bolts were tight and then we were pretty much ready for a test run. Okay, hold on. Uh oh, where uh -oh. are you, Richie? What? <laughs> wow. Just about ready for family time. <laughs> Cleanse the steps like nothing. Wow. Yeah. Richie, Richie. Boom. All right. Now is the turn of mama. Yep. Okay. Good. Good. Bien. Go. Todo bien, buddy. All right, tu listo? Listo. Pero pardon. Okay. I'm a loose. Pardon. Our first family cruiser. <laughs> How cool is that? That's pretty funny, actually. So of course now I think the question on everybody's mind is, what do we actually think of the bike? <laughs> well, I'd have to say the thing that we like the best about it so far is just the fact that it can bring all three of us, not one or two, but all three of us to places like this. Because these are the places we like to come and hang out. Nice, hey Richie? Yeah. All on our beach cruiser. And today is a very beautiful day. After a lot of rain, we have a flower, we have a bunch of butterfly, some bird are running on the water for find some, um, what is the name? Oh, a conch. Mm. And yes, I reached it, discovered a little bit of the nature. Simple netto, but the most beautiful and simple than the netto. Oh, like yeah. our bike. And it's, it's nice to simple. have a vehicle that helps us get to these places because without it, we'd be renting taxis or something all the time. We used to have a motorcycle, but even that wouldn't let us really come, you know, off-road like this once in a yeah, while. Yeah, if we reach here, really, I don't know, it's a little dangerous. Yeah, I'm not sure how the motorcycle worked with the, would have worked with Richie, but the bike works perfect, especially with the removable seat. <laughs> I found that seat on Amazon and it looked like it would work, so we just bought it as a test and it just happened to work just perfect because yeah you can see that ad motor sent us some new accessories for the bike and that's what we just installed so yeah one of our favorite accessories was this storage basket they sent us and it bolts directly to the fork so it's very sturdy and got a bungee rope over top of it to hold anything in they also sent us a pair of these mirrors which are my favorite because i love being able to see what's behind me that makes a huge difference when we're driving makes it a lot more safe than trying to look over my shoulder especially when i got all three of us on board and you can see I added a custom bracket here for my cell phone so that you can carry the cell phone with you. And it has a charging port right from the computer so it constantly keeps the phone topped up. Now, of course, mommy's favorite add-on is this new backrest and it's very sturdy. It's bolted on underneath the main seat right to the frame, which is great and gives her support so that she doesn't accidentally fall off if I, you know, hit the throttle too hard. Because a couple of times, yeah, she kind of rides at the back here and if I take off too fast, boom. <laughs> but this gives a lot of confidence. The bike is designed as a moped, so for two people, so they've even incorporated rear foot pegs for the passenger, which is awesome, and they're very sturdy, very nice. Now, if there was one key feature I had to say really impressed me with this bike compared to the other ones that I've tested, 
is the fact that all of the fittings are stainless steel. And <laughs> that is a key feature. That's something, I mean, thumbs up to add order for that because of the first one I've seen that actually used all stainless steel hardware. Because the last one we had, it rusted bad within days, literally of being in the salt air environment. All of the screws and fasteners immediately started to rust, even with the anodized coating. But as you can see, all of these key fittings, everything, everywhere, is stainless steel. Stainless steel screws on the platform, stainless steel screws on all the struts and suspension, everything here is all stainless steel. And that's amazing. And the axles, of course, are steel, and they've got protective caps on them, and Richie likes to show that that's where the cap comes from. So that just goes right on there to protect the nuts. We like things to protect our nuts, don't we, Richie? And of course, Richie's favorite upgrade is this one right here. I installed a little cup holder. It's kind of reverse, but it works. And you can put a bottle of water, whatever you want in there while we're riding. Perfect. It's another game changer with this design is the dual suspension at the back. For carrying two people, this, this ride is so comfortable, you can't even imagine, but because of these two back shocks. Now, I'd have to say another feature I'm very impressed with is the fact that it has a full electric lighting system. And of course, it's an electric bike, so why wouldn't it? Well, that's what my first question would be, but they don't all have them. In fact, our last ones didn't have them, and those were premium bikes. For safety, it has a headlight illumination, it has a rear light, it has a brake light, and it has left turn signals and right turn signals. Excellent. So again, two thumbs up to add motor for that. The battery is right here and it's removable. So we take that back to the boat at night and recharge it there from the boat's electrical system that recharges from the solar panels all day long. So we are effectively running this bike for 100% solar power. The battery turns on and has a little switch right at the top. So you switch that on and then your power switch for the bike is right here on the left handle. Yeah and the computer boots up and the computer is very readable even in daylight it's got a great screen you can see everything and you can see we've already put 455 kilometers on the bike so over here are your controls for the lights so there's your left turn signal and it has a blinking signal on the computer you hit it again to turn it off and the right turning signal it has a horn right here and even if your battery goes dead you've got a backup horn well yeah a bell over on this side, this is our power control. So this is where we drive the bike from right here. It has a rotation throttle. Now right here, this is my favorite feature. It's a switch that turns the power on and off to the throttle. And that's so that if we are sitting here and I'm just sitting at a stoplight or something like that and I take my hands off the bar, Richie always loves to play with everything at the helm. So if this is on and he hits that, we take off because the, the bike's gonna move. You can see it wants to go. So I switch that off and this becomes ineffective. So that's a very good feature. I really like that. It's using a Shimano shift system. So it's got a seven speed gear shifter right here. And the precision of the shift is very accurate. I mean, it just clicks right into each gear. No mess, no fuss, nothing. Good brakes. The feel of the brakes is good here. And the mileage, I mean, that first run that we did, we got 45 kilometers out of it. And that was just at full throttle, just going around the island, no pedaling. So we weren't pedaling at all. We were just using it like a motorbike. The next trip we did around the island or the next battery charge, we actually did it at about 25 kilometers an hour, which is more than fast enough for us. And sometimes I pedal a little bit to assist just because I felt like it. And we got 75 kilometers. So a big difference in mileage. So yeah, I'm quite sure that if you really slowed down, if it wasn't three of us on there, you'd probably get close to 100 kilometers very easy, even at reasonable speed with limited pedaling. Because this isn't a bike that you buy for pedaling. It's not, you know, like a regular bicycle. It's more like a moped style motorcycle. And that's what you do. You just hold the throttle and go. And we love it. And <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Yeah, this bike gets a lot of attention on this island because as you know, this island is full of motorcycles, mopeds, scooters, bicycles, everything on two wheels. Predominantly about 80% of the population drives on two wheels here. So this bike, we get stopped all the time. Everybody looks at it and says, what is that? <laughs> And they're very impressed. They love it. I mean, I think they would do very good in Colombia with bikes like this because Colombia is very open-minded towards two wheels versus four. But they have the climate to support it, even on mainland. But having said all of that, the important thing is what does it mean to us? And yeah, all I can say is we give the bike two thumbs up. We really like this one and we will continue to enjoy it for as long as we're here. Whether we take it with us or not, I'm not sure. 
we could get it on the boat just like I used to carry the motorcycle and at least this is only 100 pounds instead of 350 pounds so that's a big improvement but we could put it up right beside the mast just like we used to put the motorcycle and put a cover on it and just take it to our next destination but really it depends where we're going and what the roads are going to be like there if there's going to be any reason to have it or not so we'll decide that when the time comes until then we enjoy it and of course the favorite thing being a beach cruiser is the fact that we can take a perfectly sized cooler and inside the cooler bag not only do we have drinks and snacks for everybody we've also got a drone i've got my little Nevada in there just in case we want to film from the air wherever we happen to be at the time on top of that our beach speaker of course got to have some tunes right so we can play the tunes while we're riding it's amazing and have music while we're at the beach if yeah. we want and then we just put our bungee around it hold everything in so it doesn't bounce out while we're driving so thanks as always for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the review if you found it useful don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends